There we go. He's looking at you, kid. All right, you'll notice that the uh, saddle begins to rock slightly back and forth there. Uh, that's something that I just noticed now watching the video. I'm going to have to, uh, I do have a screw in there holding it down, but evidently it's not doing a good enough job. So r right now it's, it's not a problem because it, it came out a little bit too small, and smaller is always better because we could always make it bigger. So uh, the saddles are not ruined. I need to hold it down in a more rigid way that it doesn't rock back and forth because right now because it was moving the hole is not as wide as it should be so yeah a little uh have it figured out tomorrow uh, but i just wanted to get you this video now to uh give you something to put your mind at ease you know because you've been waiting very patiently and i very much appreciate that and i hope this uh is satisfying to you take it easy man bye and that is two-thirds of one-eighth of what we have to do I've got three of these total. There's these two that I already did. Then there's the one that we just watched. And uh, why I say two thirds of three eighths because I've got three of those done and there's a, one more step of three that needs to be done. I need to drill the hole all the way through there because right now there's nowhere for the wires to go. But I'm doing all the, what I'm calling the piezo pocket and the piezo shelf. The shelf underneath the pocket allows the transducer some physical room to vibrate. That's it. I'm going to put it up to YouTube and uh, email you the link. Happy watching. Enjoy.